The top five ways to revive non-responsive lists. Hey, listen, it happens to the best of us. You have taken extra care to target the right prospects. You've added the right bells and whistles to your sales funnels, and you still get stuck with a non-responsive list. Even if you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's, you can still end up in this situation. There's no need to throw in the towel. There's no need to get desperate and conclude that you have failed. Here are the top five ways to revive non-responsive lists. Method number one. Ask list members to thank you or to comment. When you ask somebody on your list to say thank you after receiving your email, you are gathering some vital information about that email. What you are actually doing is setting up your email software to detect which recipients actually opened your email. You have to understand that when you build an email list, a significant number of people will not open your email after they have received the freebie you offered them. That's just the nature of the beast. When you say in the headline that you'd like to hear from people, this can boost your open rate. This is a very important method of telling your list members apart. Some people have completely lost interest in what you have to say. They are still on your subscription list, but they are essentially just list squatters. There are other people who would still like to receive your emails, but haven't gotten around to actually opening them. When you ask list members to say thank you or to respond with a simple comment, you are actually trying to detect this second group of individuals. Method number two, give symbolic rewards. Tell people that they should open their email because there's a reward there. Believe it or not, most people would respond more favorably to symbolic rewards than monetary rewards. I know it sounds crazy, but this is how it actually does go down in the real world. It doesn't cost that much money to give away some sort of banner or picture. Give these symbolic rewards to get people to open your emails more often. This also gives you a tremendous opportunity to remind people why they joined your list in the first place. Method number three. Mention their first name in the subject line. Dale Carnegie, the genius who wrote How to Win Friends and Influence People, said that the sweetest word in the English language is a person's name. Mention the list member's name in the subject line of your updates from time to time. Depending on the email software you use, this should be fairly easy to do. Of course, you have to make sure you collect the first names with your squeeze page. Make sure that this is a required field. Method number four. Mention their name and thank them in the subject line with a reminder of a freebie in the body. Most of the time, people join your list because there's some sort of incentive in it for them. They receive some sort of a freebie. One of the most effective ways to revive your list is to simply remind people of this freebie. Maybe they didn't get around to downloading it. Maybe they didn't use it that often or did not read it. By mentioning their name in your subject line, you're giving a tremendous opportunity to direct their attention to the freebie that they were initially interested in. This can revive interest in your list and boost your overall open rates. Method number five, replenish your highest engagement email. By just looking at the track record of your list and paying attention to the overall open rates as well as click-through rates, a certain pattern should emerge. You can clearly see that some emails, for some reason or another, simply resonate with your membership. Replenish future emails with similar stuff as much as possible and more people will look forward to opening your emails. Keep these five top tips in mind when faced with a non-responsive list. It's not the end of the world, but you have to be proactive so you can turn things around.